Welcome to Single Player Gaming, please subscribe to the channel. Today I'm presenting a tutorial on how to use the software Display Driver Uninstaller or DDU for short. DDU allows for the complete removal of Nvidia, Intel and AMD GPU drivers and any associated software, such as the Geoforce experience. This can be needed to troubleshoot GPU problems and is always, always, always needed when installing a new GPU. This task can also be carried out using the control panel, but the control panel method doesn't always guarantee that registry files are deleted. A quick note before I start is that this isn't official Intel, Nvidia or AMD software, so you always use it at your own risk, and I, nor the software creator, will take any responsibility for any damage caused. I recommend creating a manual system restore point through the control panel menu before starting. The first stage is to download any GPU drivers that you will need after you've uninstalled your current GPU drivers. These can be found on the vendor's sites such as Nvidia or AMD. Leave these files once they're downloaded in a safe space, folder or on the desktop. As of March 2018, the current version of DDU is 17.0.8.3. The file can be found at this web address on screen and the link can be found in the description. Whilst you're there, you can head over to the forums and thank the creator Geislund Harvey, who goes under the forum name Vagnard. The system requirements for this software state that your operating system must be Windows XP or any further iteration up to Windows 10 Creators Update 1703. Microsoft.NET Framework 3.0 or higher is also needed, and of course, an Intel, AMD, or Nvidia. GPU. Microsoft's .NET Framework 3.0 and upwards can be found on the Microsoft Update webpage or can be got through the automated update system on your operating system. A link to this webpage is also available in the description. The DDU file that you download and receive will be an archived extractable file. You may scan it now with your antivirus package of choice. Now use your software of choice to extract the software. As you can see, I use Windows 10's built-in feature. Another popular choice is WinRAR. Here is the folder you'll be left with after doing the extraction. Open this folder and ignore all of the files apart from this one. Double click this file and if you have administration rights, click yes to allow the program to run and you will receive this window recommending that you launch the program in safe mode. For the purpose of this tutorial, I always recommend that you do that. Click the drop down box and select safe mode. When you click this button to allow the program to launch in safe mode, DDU will then create a system restore point and restart your PC. For this tutorial, I will click no, but I'm only doing that because if I was to launch in safe mode, my screen recording software would no longer work. When your computer restarts in safe mode, certain graphical features will be turned off, so don't worry if your desktop doesn't look normal and is slightly pixelated. This is a feature of safe mode. The program will then reopen on its own, and the first step on this screen is to select your GPU vendor from the drop down menu highlighted. You have three choices Nvidia, Intel, or AMD. The next step will depend upon the issues that you're currently experiencing and your needs of the software. If you're experiencing GPU errors, unexpected issues 
or are troubleshooting an existing problem, then click this first option. This will allow the software to remove GPU drivers, files, registry entries, and any additional software that was installed during your GPU's initial installation. This option will then restart your PC. If you're installing a new GPU, then select this option. It will perform the same process as the previous option, but shut down your PC as opposed to restarting it. The final option highlighted here will remove the GeForce Experience Display Driver Installer and related files. This is a particularly useful feature as the GeForce Experience can introduce problems for PC gamers with particular hardware configurations. Once you click on the option you desire, the process will begin. A log file will keep listing the technical details of the process. You can ignore this and when the process is complete, your PC will either restart or shut down depending on which option you chose. At this point you can either install new drivers, begin troubleshooting your issue, or uninstall your current GPU and replace it with your new model. This software is highly rated in the PC community and there are reports of major GPU manufacturers advising using this software during times of problems. As with any software, you use it at your own risk. Always check it with your antivirus software and only download it from the website that I've given as this is the official licensed website providing this software. This could change in the future though, so always be cautious. I hope you have found this tutorial helpful, and if you have, then please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Here are some gaming videos for your enjoyment.